This is a 2017 Giant Trance. Let's get at it. This is Giant's trail bike. It sports 150 millimeters of suspension up front and 140 of Maestro suspension in the back. What you see there is the Maestro Trunion Link. It's a new carbon fiber link that Giant just rolled out for their 2017 models. That right there is a GX SRAM drivetrain. I have to say, I love that drivetrain. For the price and the value, it's really, really good. What you see there is some kind of ugly green stickers and whatever. That's actually from the hub where I rented this bike in Pisgah, North Carolina. Fantastic shop. The rest of the build really is a Yari front fork and also it has composite wheels. Not bad for about $4,500. Interesting. One of the first things that you notice on this bike is the traction on the climbs. That Maestro suspension really is very sensitive and it's not at all dependent on pedaling forces. It is so different from the VPP 5010 V1 that I have. I mean, that bike is great, but this bike climbed technical terrain for sure better. Another thing that I noticed right away, even riding around in the parking lot before we got into the trails, is how light the bike felt. It was really light, light on its feet, and immediately because of that, it actually felt very playful already. It's something that you could bunny hop very easily, and you could tell you could change direction really fast. And as we get into further into this trail that I'm showing you, it really does very well with tight technical uh, terrain. Um, certainly even in the slower parts of it, you're gonna notice that uh, I tend to kind of just weave in and out um, of, of terrain like this. Um, where we are right now is actually the Pisgah uh, National Forest. Really, really great riding. If you guys haven't been, uh, I think it's uh, probably the best place that I've been riding in uh, in my life. It's a, it's a beautiful place to ride. Um, so anyway, getting back to this, you'll really notice that this bike does a really good job with tight terrain. Not just that, because it sports 140 in the back and 150 up front, it's very, very capable. Now, I do have to say that um, when it got pretty rough and chunky, um, I did notice that this wasn't as deep feeling as my Santa Cruz VPP uh, 5010. So that was gnarly. Um, I don't know what it is. I know Giants are, are known for this Maestro system, and it, it's, it's great. Don't get me wrong. It felt great, but maybe I wasn't dialed in yet because I only had this for about you know four or five hours. But I do have to say, I had a feeling that the, the suspension could have been better. So uh, that being said, I thought it climbed better than my 5010. However, it doesn't necessarily descend better even though it has more travel. Uh, this trail right here that you see is actually Daniels Ridge. It's a beautiful trail and it's uh, a trail that's kind of right next to a creek. Uh, you'll see here that there's going to be drop-offs on the right so obviously you have to be really careful with this but uh, it's really twisty and it's got gnar for sure. Um, that's actually my friend Aiden ahead of us. He's actually riding an enduro right now so um, you could just imagine by that on what type of trails uh, these are. But yeah, this is uh, Daniel's Ridge. I'll certainly leave a link uh, in the description. So, as you can see, this bike descends pretty well. It really does. And even though I have a gimbal on my chest right now, which makes everything smoother, just pay attention to how much this handlebar kind of just uh, goes up and down kind of crazy. And you can tell the suspension is really working. Um, another um, immediate thing that I noticed is the difference between a Yari fork and a charger dampener that would that you'd find in a pipe or a lyric. It's good, it really is, but it, I, it's not as plush as a pipe, which that's why they have you know they charge more for it. But um, 
Yeah, so the bike all in all, honestly, for the price of $4,500, you get a lot. You get a carbon frame, you get composite wheels, you have a decent fork, and, and everything else is good. The one thing that I kind of got annoyed about this bike is that it only came with a 100 millimeter seat post, which this is a small frame, and I'm 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and I actually felt like I could have used a longer um, dropper post, which is great frame design, right? Because it's super low. But what they gave you, which is the, the giant version of their, their dropper posts, is, is too short for this frame. So it's not that it's bad. Obviously, I'm design um, descending well here, but it's something to think about. That was the 2017 Giant Trance. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe, share. And uh, definitely ask me some questions on how I felt about the bike. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later.